Welcome, welcome to another episode of Rails Car Guy. Today we're doing a 2002, um, 2002 Yukon, and we're doing a rear uh, differential gasket. Oh shit! Oh shit! Excuse me, my energy uh, drink dropped. I'm just a real motherfucker. Shit happens. Uh, so basically, what we got to do is change the gasket up under here because this customer has a leak as you see right here and you hear it's grinding in the rear end and this is the problem i diagnosed it's low on grease and you're going to need to take all these 10 screws out move this bar out the way in order to get that uh cover off of there so i'll be back let me uh i think i'm going to start with this boat and start with that bolt. I'll be back, give you the dimensions and sizes of the sockets you're gonna need for this. Uh, stay tuned, one second. Okay, I'm back. So these bolts end up being a 13 millimeter or half inch. And these bolts are, give me a second. Those bolts, bolts were a 13 16 fit right on there but you want to take a crescent wrench or something you know like an adjustable wrench and put on the back end so it don't spin because it's a nut that goes on the back end of this boat so puts adjustable wrench back there and unloosen this and the same thing with the other side both of those bolts got to come off so you can move this bar out the way because you're going to have to move it out the way to get you, you can get these screws out but you can't get the, the uh plate all the way off with this bar in the way okay so give me a second i'm going to start taking these two bolts out that bolt and that bolt and then i'm going to work on getting the 10 bolts out of the differential uh plate cover and we'll see what happens from there yeah so we're back again uh, so i took one bolt out i'm able to drop this down out the way i left that bolt in we're going to see if we got to move it entirely but i think one bolt would be fine uh took all the 10 13 millimeter screws out i'm um, just popping this up out the way brake line and i've got a flathead screwdriver i'm going to find me a nice area to pry to start prying to get this off of here but you don't want to damage this cover uh, I'll be back I'll let you know how to do it rails the car guy back again so with this job I have to actually stop I'm gonna put it back together um, it was definitely leaking I caught the rest of what was left out the grease Got that in. I put a flathead screwdriver and put it on the side and wiggled it and popped the cover right off. This, you didn't have to take the other side off. You can let it hang down or raise it up and tie it up somewhere. Um, but it ended up being his bearings are bad. These are horrible. So the way to change those, you got to jack the truck up, take the axle out. And with this particular customer, uh, I haven't got that far yet. Uh, we got to figure out what we're going to do. But... Um, in the meantime, I'm just going to put his cover back on here. He can't drive this truck, this vehicle, until he get those two bearings changed inside this differential. Thanks for watching, Rails the Car Guy. But anyway, to do the gasket, you clean the surface off. Clean the surface off of this. I would take brake cleaners, I mean, uh, scrape it with a razor blade around there. Scrape it with a razor blade to get it nice and clean. Take some brake cleaner to clean off any dirt or or man residue from the oil and then you put this back on put all the 10 bolts back in tighten them up crossways one right here 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 tighten them up till you get it nice and tight and this a uh little plug on this side of the uh a differential that you can screw out and your uh, hey, ratchet can go in there and unscrew that out. 
You don't need a socket. It's made to fit like a 3 8 ratchet. Can poke down in there, you know, with like your extension and just screw that plug out. And that's where you fill it up at and um, put the plug back in. All right. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Rails of Cargo.